The major difficulty in any project is that when often you'll get the boss, the sponsor, come in and say, this is what I want, and, and okay, get on with it. I want it in three months. And it does, it starts to evolve. So all that planning at the front that, that might take six months, you're actually doing the project and you're planning at the same time. And that's where the evolution comes. And it never performs as it should do. And, and that's where you often find the overspends come from as well. And it's not just about the plan, it's then about how do you get people to buy into that plan. Because you'll have sponsors of the project uh, who, who want this to work. Uh, but when you actually go through the plan and they realise the extent of it, you often find that they start to get a bit of cold feet. And so suddenly you find that the project changes anyway. We can't have all these people there. We want the same result, but we don't want to spend all that money and we certainly can't afford this resource. So suddenly you find what was a £200 million project goes to 175 uh, or to 150 uh, and and you find you've got to cut corners and then what you find at the end is you've not got exactly what you want um, and you've still got to spend another 50 million getting what you need or 60 million. But then it's important then to have like to have specific stages like we have we want to get from A to Z but you have like in quarters quarter one or stage yeah. one stage two three and then four and then within um, be before you reach the end of each stage then you have like sub stages and probably deadlines yeah. so that you can sort of follow through to see if you're really on target yeah ab absolutely in thing y there's there's quite a few um, project management metho methodologies like prince to pm bock um, prince to uses things called gates so exactly what you're describing there, where you, you look at it and say, right, okay, this is the gate. We now, uh, uh, the next point where we go to the next section, therefore we need a gate review, which is effectively reviewing where we have been, what we've achieved, what we need to do next, and does, what, what does that incur? So re reviewing projects, absolutely essential, week by week, day by day. Um, and keeping on top of that and then you have your, your sort of formal review um, where it's a bit like an audit in many ways. The, 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 big, the big thing for me about any project is the honesty. You've got to be absolutely honest with people um, and if, if you're in a project and you're, say, you're looking at it and saying this is not going to work or we're not going to achieve what we need to do or there's a scope creep in there, so we find that people are adding things in and, and causing, this was the scope of the project, now people are going and adding bits into it, then being honest about it and saying, look, this is the effect of this. If, if you try to soften the blow, what will happen, it, the, it'll lose its effect, because what will happen is people will only take the soft bit, yeah. they won't take the hard bit. So it's being very, <coughs> um, th th these are the facts, th this, this is how it is, th this is what's going to happen. We need this extra resource, if not, this is the consequences of that. Um, if you try and soften the blow to the sponsors and, and, and the management, um, it, will, it will create more problems later on. Um, a, a, a friend of mine, he's a global project manager, and he came, he came to me uh, to, to give him some coaching. And he said, I, I, I'm having a real problem with my boss. I said, well, give me some example of the conversation. And he was starting off every, every conversation with, I know you're not going to like this, but... <laughs> so I said, right, OK, so next time you have the conversation, don't say, I know you're not going to like this. I had a two or three conversations, he came knocking on my door a few weeks later, he said, it's great, he says, I'm having a lot better relationship with him. I said, well, yeah, <laughs> because you're not pushing on to him a feeling that he doesn't necessarily have, because what he wants is an honest uh, expose of what's happening in this project.
this is what's happening in this project, this is what I think we could do to do something different. However, what we'll need is this resource. Can you, can you accommodate that? No, I can't. Well, I'm sorry, that's where we are. Very, v project management really has been about being very honest, very practical. Thank you very much.